Hello, this is David Hale. Welcome to Tech Dive TV. Today, we're taking a tech dive. Our tech dive is going to go into set top boxes, and it's going to be uh, from week to week until we cover all the set top boxes I want to talk about. The ones we're going to talk about are the Roku, which will be today's episode, the Apple TV, we're going to talk about the Raspberry Pi as an XBMC. And we're also going to talk about other devices like smart TVs and DVD players that can also be smart content providers. But today, the Roku. Now, the Roku box uh, is a, anywhere between $99 and lower. Uh, it's a one-time purchase, and it will serve up a wide variety of channels for you. Now, they're not channels as you would think of in the typical sense. They're internet streaming channels. I mean, you can get the standard Netflix, the Hulu Plus, the Amazon Prime. One thing that doesn't come on a Roku box, but it's rumored to be coming soon, is YouTube. You can get YouTube with one of the other apps that you can load onto the Roku box. In this case, Plex, which we've covered in uh, previous uh, postings here on techdivetv.wordpress.com. But there's a lot of other types of channels you can get. Now, I watch a lot of Twit TV, T W I T, which means This Week in Tech. It's a network owned by Leo Laporte. He used to be on Tech TV. Um, so there's an app for Twit TV. Uh, there's apps for a lot of other podcast type TVs that you might want to look at from all sorts of different areas, not just tech. There's cooking, there's all kinds of things. Um, but you can also get other channels as well, something to look into. Plus on the Roku, there are things called private channels. Now those are channels that people have created for themselves and have shared on the Roku. And you can go out and look for those and also install those on your Roku and get even more content. So for $99 or less, you can get a myriad of content specifically designed for you. You only load the channels that you want. Now, there are some pay channels. I mean, Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime, you're gonna need subscriptions for those. And there are other um, pay-per-view channels that you can get. Uh, um, rumor has it the new WWE Network Wrestling is going to be able to be available on the Roku. Uh, that's a $9.99 charge per month to subscribe to WWE. My son loves wrestling, and he will probably subscribe to that. But the Roku is an excellent choice if you are a cord cutter and you want to stream television uh, of content of your choosing as opposed to what the networks want to feed you. So take a look at the Roku. Next Tuesday, our tech dive will be the Apple TV. So I hope you come back for that. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.